today I'm back to working on my Sanyoi M4500 boombox. I'm slowly trying to get all the problems it has straightened out. One of the problems it has is your a noisy potentiometer. When you turn it, it makes like a it'll make like a scratching sound. I sprayed it with contact cleaner that has lubricant in it. It helped a little bit. So now I think I'm going to have to take it apart. I also hooked up my little component checker to it. I've got it the leads across it and now I'm going to go ahead and turn. Looks well looks about normal. If there were any major dropouts I'd be able to see them. But in this instance, no. So I'm just actually going to bend these little tabs out with, with a little screwdriver and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Using both my snippers here and this little screwdriver, I was able to get the potentiometer open. I looked at the tracks. They don't seem to be that badly worn. So what I did is I just took some of my contact cleaner with lube, sprayed it in there, and then I used used my, uh, my cotton swab and cleaned it up a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. These are little tabs here. I don't think you can like open this thing up a bunch of times because sooner or later you're gonna end up I think every time you bend metal it's gonna it's gonna get a little bit weaker and then it's gonna break off. So this is for me it's just a one time thing here. So I actually had to open up this potentiometer again after I cleaned it because I forgot to clean the other carbon track which is right there and this time I had opened it from first time open from this side and the second time open from that side I didn't want to bend the tabs too many times I'm afraid you I'm afraid you're gonna break off I hooked up my oscilloscope across the potentiometer this is a ganged potentiometer, so I'm feeding in a 1000 hertz square wave to both sides. I've basically got the trace here superimposed. One of the traces is basically superimposed on the other. And now I'm going to go ahead and vary the potentiometer to its range. Okay. And there's no basically no both are working at within the same range and so I'm basically going to go ahead and solder it back in and hopefully that'll have taken care of that static noise problem. It was making like a <coughs> every time I went ahead and used that control. When I said ganged I actually meant that there's actually two wiper arms in this potentiometer and when you're turning when you're turning the knob it's actually these two wiper arms are both moving at the same time and here's my actual setup I don't think I would be doing this quite often normally I just clean the pots or the sliders up and I just go ahead and leave it at that if they sound okay but with this method here you can see like if both sides are actually tracking smoothly. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't change the her position. You see I've just got both the traces are just superimposed on each other. And then I think if one wouldn't be tr tracking so good throughout its range. And it might, you'd have like a, probably have like a one being if you had them superimposed, you'd have a, 
maybe looking like this where one would be higher than the other one, one would be stronger than the other one. Ideally they should both be excuse me, ideally they should both track equally. So something like that. I've actually got the pot solder back in and now I'm going to go ahead and, and work it. It's got no noise whatsoever anymore so I guess that was an okay job. Actually like I said I only take these apart as a last resort because it is I think a little bit risky. Might be worse off once you're once you're done. You might break one of the tabs off or stuff like that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and tackle the volume pot because that has got problems too. Once I unsoldered the pot I noticed the this here that this pad here was loose and destroyed that's probably why there was a big old gob of solder on there somebody tried to bridge that either it was done at the factory or the person that owned the box before I did did this work I really don't know and I'm gonna see if I can't clean this up a little bit here on the right also I took the pot out which is looks like that and I decided not to take it apart any further I sprayed more contact cleaner on it and I'm going to spray more down in here where that screwdriver is at now now that I can get to it and hopefully that take care of the problem I'm not sure about these two wires one of these wires was hooked up to the pad that wasn't soldered correctly I'm not sure whether that was done at the factory like that too or it wasn't was it somebody else after that to the, maybe the owner before me but there's actually two pads here on the board where these where where these wires go to so I'm not sure I'm gonna go ahead and like I said um, put contact cleaner there put everything back together do the solder work and then go ahead and try everything out here is the actual pad that came loose right there and what I'm going to do is simply remove this well there it goes it removed itself so here's my solution I'm going to go ahead and take this piece of wire here I wrapped it around the pin a little bit and then solder this here say I already stripped all this off and then once I'm done I'm going to go ahead and cut it off I don't think I could have that pad that lifted itself off I don't think I could have re-glued it or something I was afraid that if I did glue it the heat of the soldering iron would just go ahead and lift up the pad again so I'm going to go ahead and try this solution I've got the the wire soldered on and now I'm just going to go ahead and snip it off and leave it at that maybe clean up the board a little bit the whole board looks like that here's my actual completed work and it's not perfect but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that it looks better than before so I did a quick test here and it seems like uh, all that noise is gone looks like I got lucky that time working on this uh, I, this is I think I initially said this is a volume control this is volume and combination volume and balance control so it looks like this part 
of the restoration of this boom box is done I'm actually going to go ahead and spray contact cleaner on every switch and in every potentiometer that there is I think that's the best method